I'm going to replace it. I recommend that you get it online. It was half the price online that it is at the auto parts store. There's two tubes here. One is connected to the engine. It gets the vacuum there from the engine. And the other tube goes to the top of the EGR valve. And that solenoid switch basically lets the computer open and close the EGR valve whenever it wants. Right here is the sensor. This tells the computer if there's exhaust flow or not. So if the EGR valve if the EGR valve is not opening then there's no exhaust flow. So this thing will not detect exhaust flow and then you'll get that code. So hopefully replacing this part here will fix the issue. This is really easy to change. There's only one nut holding it on. Grab right here. Unplug the wire. Remove the vacuum hose. Each one is a different length. See how they're a different length? That, see how this is different length on the new one? You just plug it in that way to where they match. Pretty simple. Need an 8 millimeter socket to take this off. And after you're done with this, make sure you reset the computer. And then if, if the code comes back again, the insufficient flow code, then there's another issue going on. There's a piece of metal here that the other bolt hole just slides into like this. It holds it in. Put the new one in. Snug up the nut, don't go too tight because it's plastic. Reconnect the hoses. Also check this, make sure you don't see any obvious cracks or in the anything in the rubber. Check for any obvious cracks in the rubber. Everything looks good, put it back on. Reconnect the wire. And after you reset the computer, you want to let the engine run and see if you see any improvement in how it runs. And that's it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment.